hello everyone so welcome to a new video in this video we are going to talk about how can we use a third party create component in your custom blog in our last video we have discussed about how can we create the custom blocks uh, sorry custom components for your custom blocks but sometimes you may need to use a third party components rate components for your custom blocks uh, so I will just discuss about a simple and basic use cases of third party rate component you can follow the same instructions and uh, uh, integrate your necessary or custom component for your custom blocks. You can see this is a, a React Edit Vehicle component, and today we will implement it in our custom block. Uh, you have already know that there is a Gutenberg built in React uh, Edit Vehicle component, but I am just want to show you uh, some basic use case. Uh, about the third party react component uh, you can check out the documentation from here and you will also be able to see the demos from the city demo pages and there, uh, there are a lot of examples available with the code so you can easily follow this uh, documentation and customize this data vehicle as per your need so to use this dead vehicle in your custom blocks, first you have to install this. I'm going to copy this command line and just going to paste it here. Now if we check out our package suggestions, we will find out a new dependency for this reactor dead vehicle. That means we can use the reactive paper in our custom block. So to use the block, I am going to in my edit.js file. And if we check out the documentation, we will find out that we have to import first the component and second we have to import the store sheet. So I'm going to copy and paste my edit.js file. And to use this in our inspector control, I'm just going to create a new panel body uh, with some basic information like a dead vehicle. Sorry. Let us use the component here, this one. And if we check out the props, basic props for this uh, component, you can see first one is the selected. That means the starting date and second one, the onsense function that will be helpful for us to update our activity file. So let us create a new activity like journey date. Sorry, like. And definitely it will be an string. We are not passing any default value because the current date will be our default value. And for this selected first this track journey date. And first for the selected not journey date, we will pass the new date. So it will pick the current date okay on this function what will happen here if we console works the data to check out what we're getting inside this now let us run the npm start and if i go to my editor i refresh to see the result we can see this is our dead vehicle if we click we can see we can pick any date for here if we select the 30 you can see we are getting a string getting a string but it should have a proper format like this one so let us try to convert it to a look at a string that is string. if we do this and try to refresh again to see the result let us pick a date from like 25 and you can see now we are getting our expected format first one is the month date and year that means we are getting the perfect result now we can simply update our attribute from here so 
so set attributes so down it it has to look at a string okay and if we try to console log the journey dead journey dead and to see the result just press 25 and you can see yes it is working fine but that is simple problem so when we are changing the date but our selected date is not changing because we have a static data right now so what can we do now we'll check if there is any journey date then we'll pause new date with our journey date otherwise it will take some the current date so if we do this and try to refresh to see the result and now if you select 25 you can see our data is changed successfully even if we pick like 1st of January now it is changed and it is working fine so to use the data we can simply call our attribute like here our journey date journey date and if you refresh again sorry what's the problems sorry there is a double not double calibrations but it a single calibrations refresh to see the result by default it is blank because we don't have any journey date selected here if we select from here like 2 to january and you can see now it is selected if we update to see the result is saving yes our data is saved similarly we can display this in our front end just i'm going to copy and your save function best now to destroy our attribute from here and if you can refresh and add him to recall her try to see the result and you can see it is working fine now let us try to change the date like february 1st or march 1st and save now it is saved so i think you understood how can we use a third fatty date component for a custom block if you have any questions you can let me know so that i can help you thank you